Hello and thanks for clicking on this video guys. Today we are going to check a game called One More Dungeon. So this is a game that I found out for you, but before starting talking about it, make sure to consider subscribing and this would help me a lot on my journey to 100,000 subscribers. So yeah, I'm waiting for your help. This is it. It's basically the game, we are in the menu just to check if... Um, how to start and so on, no? So basically, there are a lot of options that you can choose on in the in the beginning, as you can see. You can choose, um, they are called mutators here. And this basically, they will change the settings of your game. And the gap modifying quite a lot the experience. Well, unfortunately, I didn't unlock any of them yet. So we go for the normal one. The standard one. Here we can read. Uh, thank you, level guardian. To get a seal that opens up a safe for floor dungeon. Next floor. Tab for level map. E. I. For inventory. That's all. So basically in the game you are in this dungeon which looks basically... The graphics are cool as hell guys. It's absolutely lovely. Especially if you played Doom 2 back in 1995 or after that if you were born after that. Yeah, which is not your fault. So, um... The graphic looks the same, you can't look down, you can't look up, you can just look right or left. You can use the mouse for that, or basically you can just use the arrow keys, and then WASD for moving. So here we are shooting with our staff. We have this bloody staff that just throws bowls of um, water, so we could even be a squirt or uh, the power of a Pokemon is this. And then you have a knife or whatever weapons you decide to equip on the right hand okay so this is basically what would happen if you just shoot one of the walls with the um, I don't know, the, the lighted um, skull on it then you'll find a lot of bats trapped in spider webs which I can't understand why because there are no spiders in this level and you can carry on so you break you can break things with the staff or the sword but remember better use the sword because the stuff will take down mana point or the gems the gems you can see the gems in the top right corner all right so actually <laughs> i was wasting a little bit of time on the part of the light but great so you can have a good idea about the graphics and this is the first dungeon that i encountered so here he, um, he will in it Basically, the difficulty of this game is not the highest, but it's very, very, very punitive. With this, I mean, that is not easy at all. Not easy at all, guys. But even these slacks, these bloody green slacks, with something like 5 or 6 6, they get you killed. Killed as hell. And the knife. Dot ah, there you are. There you are. Okay, so we are trying it again. The slugs are very powerful, even if they are slugs. How, how can they even damage you about it? Well, of course, obviously, it's just because it's a game and and so on and all of this stuff. But the, the important thing is that when you will reborn, you will have a random stuff. Because the stuffs you will be able to get are free. The fire one, the blue one, which supposedly is water or ice, I don't know. And you will also have the... Mm, the green one, which I suppose is poison, but I wouldn't know if, if it is that. Then you go around, you collect the gems, you shoot at these bloody slugs. I said uh, slugs, not sl slats. So, and basically, uh, you have to do what you would normally do in a dungeon. Then you search for a way out, and the way out is unlockable only if you beat the, um, the level boss. Well, that is the boss of this level, like the master pinky slacks. Once you kill it, you get this um, sigil or whatever it is called. And you're basically done. If you find the exit, if you find it, you'll be able to get out. So far, so good, isn't it? And you will be able to unlock new stuffs, to unlock new weapons, for example. You'll be able to unlock even knives and so on. And everything is so cool guys especially for me that i was a lot of doom 2 that i spent hours on the game boy advance to play that 
this is is so 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 good so I don't know I would extremely recommend it for you guys you can find it on Steam the link uh, about it you can find it below and that's all guys I would personally give it a 8.5 even if I'm dead I would personally give it an 8.5 Mostly because it reminds me of Doom 2, which I used to play a lot when I was a kid. But definitely 8.5 is the score I will give this. Absolutely, if you play Doom 2, you have to play this. Which is like a dungeon magic mod about it. And is absolutely unmissable. Try it out, let me know what you think about it, leaving a comment if you played. Share with me your <laughs> experience about it. And so if you didn't buy it yet, consider buying this because, hey, you need this. And especially if you can do a gameplay about it or a walkthrough, then send me the link and I'll be more than happy to watch it out. Alright, furthermore, if you reach until here, I have a spare key for this. So just make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me in the comments below that you are interested in this game. I'll make sure to choose a winner between all the commenters at the end of the month so that is great thanks a lot for watching until here absolutely make sure to watch the other videos as well subscribe for helping me in my journey and have a great day ahead thanks a lot guys cheers <laughs>